And then, once you've conquered everything, you have to set up your colony there. So, we have civilization right above me here, dressed in white, holding the law books. Also, remember I told you about subtle religious imagery? The crosses behind her are put in there to represent the civilizing power of Christianity. How many Florida natives do I have with me today? You guys are on deck. All right, there's an Spanish explorer over every single archway in this hotel except for one. This guy is French. He also had a lot to do with Jacksonville. Can you poke him out? No. Okay, well, he's right up here. His name is Jean Ribot. Now, why on earth with all of these other Spanish explorers that we have a Frenchman up there? What would this be? You guys can gather up around here. I'll give you plenty of time to take, take pictures afterwards, I promise. Good. We have Christmas over here. She's holding the boar's head. It's a time for feasting. But then, after Christmas, you get into the dead of winter. So right over here, she's holding her sticks. Her face is smudged from tending the fire. But once the winter time's over with, it is now time for spring. And when these ladies are, as opposed to our other girls. Now, why are they the last I assure you, it is Tiffany glass, but there's a reason why it isn't stained. Tiffany is so busy designing the rest of the hotel that he doesn't have a chance to do the grand chandelier. Now, how many of you guys have flipped on a direct current light switch? Well, when you flip it, it sparks. The circuits can leave the electricity flows. People believe that this was your soul being sucked from your body, especially at $1,000 a night. So, Henry Fly will hire. Now, the alligator farm is 120 years old. We're 125 years old. So they wanted chairs that kind of fit the time period that they started out in. So they bought six of our chairs off of us. And this one is the original $17,000 chair. And it is smiling. And this one is the imitation, which is frowning. And It's a leather floor. Well, during the days the hotel was operational, this would have been the ladies' parlor. There would have been no men allowed in this room at all. This would have been strictly for the ladies because there is not a whole lot of places in St. Augustine that ladies can go to and participate in things. The casino is not appropriate. The bats are not particularly appropriate. The billiards are, are definitely not appropriate. And a bar is, especially the ladies in this class, is off limits. So Henry Five would hold a room where they can come relax. Now you're going to notice this room is entirely different from the rest of the building, right? Instead of having large open spaces, we have these smaller alcoves with curtains built in. Now, this is so you can go hang out just with who you want to hang out with. You don't have to have a large social obligation just to come relax. You can pull the curtains shut and talk about whoever you want to across the room. All of our curtains, drapes, they're original to the room. All of our furniture is original to the room except for our heart. This is our second Edison clock. It is called Day. It tells time correctly twice a day. <laughs> it is broken. But in order to fix it, we have to break the face. And that face is the largest piece of white onyx in the hemisphere. So we're all fine not breaking that. Now you're going to notice it doesn't say Edison anywhere on the clock. Do you want to know how I know it's an Edison clock? Look at the number four. Everything else is a Roman numeral except for that number four. The negative space in between the four lines make up an E. Look up at the ceiling. You're going to see a lot of mural work, but guess what? It's not a mural. Everything in this room on the roof is on canvas that was then stretched and stuck up there. Around 18, he's starting to look to make a career change. He's getting bored. Well, guess who he's met through trading grain? Rockefeller. Now Rockefeller says, hey, I have an idea for a company. Do you want to jump on board? He says, okay. And they start up Standard Oil together. They make a lot of money. They make it really quick. They are the largest monopoly the world has ever seen. But here's the thing. Henry Flacker said, a friendship built on business is always better than a business built on friendship. 
because he had many friends who went into business together. The business fails, and guess what? They're no longer friends. He doesn't really know Rockefeller outside of the business action business world at first. So whenever they go together, you know, if the business went bad, there's not going to be really any hard feelings. But guess what? They make a lot of money together, so then they become friends. Now, this is a really good combo because Rockefeller is great at being the public face of a company. And Flagler is very good at being the numbers man. They're great together. Rockefeller says if it hadn't been for Henry, I would be nothing. We have a very mild climate, so people suffering from lung conditions can come down here and breathe a little bit easier. We have very humid air. He has to build a railroad because once you get to Jacksonville, it's even worse than Georgia because there's just no infrastructure in Florida. You have to take a stagecoach. He built a railroad. He fixes up Georgia. He builds us a railway. Railway. And that way, we can all hop on our train in New York City. 48 hours later, we are right here in St. Augustine. Never leaving the lap of luxury the entire time. Henry Flagler then marries his third wife. Her name is Mary Lily Keenan, and she is 40 years younger than he is. Amazing how the doorway works. Yeah. Go on walking. Down the marble, he's the marble stairs wearing leather shoes, which is slippery. He didn't die then, it caused complications. He died shortly after. Right.